if a user actually submitted an enhancement request, you know what they really want? They want to know, A, did you accept the enhancement request? Did you actually receive it? Do you know about it, Mr. Product Manager or Product Marketing Manager? Did it made it through to your roadmap? And if so, are you working on it right now? Or is this something that I can expect in a year from now, two years from now, or not at all? Hello, my customer success friends. Irit Ezips here for CSM Practice, the customer success consulting firm. Today, I want to talk about closing the loop on enhancement requests. You all have them, and I will tell you that for the most part, when I talk to my clients, they don't have this down. Meaning, uh, when I ask their customers, when we do research, interviews, surveys, whether or not they have submitted enhancement requests and how they did it, I get different answers. They either gave the enhancement request verbally to the CSM and they don't know where it is. They might have submitted an enhancement request on the community page, never to be heard of again, maybe got some likes, but the feature was never enabled. Or maybe they sent out the enhancement request through their support ticketing system. Sounds familiar? All right. So today I want to tell you there's a way to do this and we need to be very consistent and very clear with our customers as to what is the most appropriate way to submit an enhancement request and then give them the carrot, like the why they should be doing it in one way versus the other so that they indeed get the experience that they want. You know what that is? closing the loop on their enhancement request. So if a user actually submitted an enhancement request, you know what they really want? They want to know, A, did you accept the enhancement request? Did you actually receive it? Do you know about it, Mr. Product Manager or Product Marketing Manager? Did it made it through to your roadmap? And if so, are you working on it right now? Or is this something that I can expect in a year from now, two years from now, or not at all. If it did make it to the roadmap and you think it's gonna come up in the next three months, let them know. And if it's coming up in a year or it's eventually gonna come up in the roadmap, let them know. You know why? Because if they know it's coming up soon, they might not spend their wheels in trying to find some crafty workaround and just wait for it, or they may not churn because now they don't know if this critical feature is going to be on your roadmap or not, they might look for a different solution that already has that. So it's very important to keep the closed loop on even just to tell them what your plans are that you just even received their enhancement request and you're considering it. Now, a lot of times it's very, very rare that even if the enhancement request did make it into the product roadmap and your team has worked very hard to implement it in your solution, we don't even tell our clients that it made through and now it's available. We just do the overall general product release. We never thank them for the idea. We never close the loop and tell them that their idea has been established. And um, I find this very frustrating for clients because it does two things, unfortunately. One, it breaks down the incentive of submitting the enhancement request from the get-go. So if I submit things into the oblivion, <laughs> nothing happens in return. If there's no reaction, there's no reinforcement for, hey, we want to hear from you. So they'll stop doing it at some point. And in addition, we start breaking down that trusted advisor relationship that we want to develop with our customers. Listen, we want to have a very good, solid, um, appreciative relationship with our clients. And one of the ways to do it is that for every action, there's a reaction. If they submit an enhancement request, they should get a thank you. They should be kept in the loop of where things are in case it did make it to the roadmap. And they should also know when you've actually acted on it. Now, some of you might say, Irit, this is really difficult to do. This is not something that's easy. So I wanna make some recommendations, some tactical advice for you to implement. And if you need help, of course, you can always come to CSM Practice and we'll help you execute on this plan. So at a high level, this is what you want to do. First of all, decide on one route that's the best route for you to actually aggregate all these requests in one place. 
Uh, ideally, these would be submitted to a online community where you have a person assigned to respond quickly to any enhancement request submitted on the community board so that they know that if they submitted something, someone from your team actually addressed that and acknowledged that they have received the enhancement request. That will allow other users to give a thumbs up if they also like it. Then on an ongoing basis, maybe once a quarter, have a list of all the enhancement requests with how many likes each one of them got, and then have your CSMs in those meetings to weigh in and say how much, how critical is that enhancement request for strategic customers versus small customers, and how well does it match with the overall strategy of your company and their overall vision for what solutions they want to drive for your clients. If it does make it, you should submit either a Zendesk ticket or Jira ticket or whatever application you're using so that there's a number assigned with those requests or that feature that you're going to develop. And then make sure that you have contacts that were interested in that feature assigned to that ticket. So then when you start working on it with the engineering team, when the feature is actually been addressed, you will have a list of all the users that submitted that request and you can shoot an email back. So you don't have to have the CSM call each one of them and let them know. You do wanna have an email automatically fired off to all those users that requested that or liked that feature as an enhancement request. So once you started tracking and assigning a number to each enhancement request, you want to track who gave you a like and then what account did they belong to if possible. And then have, once the enhancement request has been completed and actually catered to by the engineering team and the re product release has gone out. Ideally, uh, this enhancement request is also looped back into the customer 360 view of your account page. So if you your customer success team has an account page with all the critical information about that account, let's start tracking how many enhancement requests did this account actually submitted and how many of them were actually addressed so that in the next QBR, they can actually talk about that. Maybe they'll have a slide about, hey, look, you've submitted these enhancement requests and these are the ones that we've actually addressed. And I think it's a moment of celebration. A moment of celebration is where you've actually addressed a client need successfully. And we need to make more of those because we typically only have playbooks for addressing risks. And that's not uh, good enough. You know, if you were to have a meaningful relationship with your clients, you want to take stock of all the celebration moments you can have with them as well. All right. Hopefully you find this helpful for you and you can take some of this advice and implement it at your organization. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube video or check out the description of the YouTube video for more resources like our Pinterest boards, our newsletter, and other blogs about this topic. I'll see you at the next video.